Yo, what's good? It's your boy, Wannabe Grind, who also happens to have an American accent. I'm back again, here to show you guys how to build a really cool build here, right behind me. And it's not these boats, it is this boathouse. So ever since 1.13's aquatic update, Minecraft's oceans have been teeming with life. Unfortunately, I will not be able to show you guys that, because I have built this house in 1.12. But you can definitely see the difference if you go to the 1.13 or 1.14 update. But yeah, say that, you know, you had enough of land life over there and you want to take to the seas. Well, boy, do I have a build that I'm not just going to show you, but teach you how to build. Here we have our voluptuous boathouse here with all kinds of wood types. You can use whatever you want and you can build this in survival. It's very easy and I'm going to show you in a minute how to build this. But as you can see, it's just prime real estate. You got two decks, you got the loft, you got plenty of space, boats not included, but you got everything that you need, all the essentials, and it is very, very easy to build. So without further ado, let's just jump right into it. All right, so before you go on your nautical adventures, you're gonna wanna grab yourself the following blocks. So you need all the cobblestone, so cobblestone slab, stair block, and even the fence. Now the difficult part of this build will be the different types of woods I'll be using. Now you could use just one type of wood or you could use multiple, doesn't matter. But if you do want to follow with me, I will be using the birch block here, the plank of just oak, the spruce stairs, the oak stairs, any type of fence will do to be honest. Um, just about two doors, both glass, pane and block, spruce slab, It'll, just the oak log or any logs, we're just going to be using them from the st for the stilts and the frames and a torch. That's basically all you need. So we're just going to jump right into building it. Okay, so here we are in the middle of the water, the ocean, with a bunch of half rendered land in the distance. As you can see, I'm using 1.12. You can use whatever version you want. This is going to be a survival tutorial, so we're just going to use the basics. But yeah, as you can see, this ocean is not really teeming with life. But what you want to do when you start off is just take your log and plunge into the ocean. And I'm just going to find the shallowest area and just build up to the surface like that until you have a log sticking one block out of the surface. Now what you want to do is start off the frame of it by getting your plank and just building about 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. It's a pretty nice surface. We're actually going to go two blocks like that and make it 7. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That way, so the whole entire length is nine. Right when you're here, you want to do what you do on the other side and make it touch this end of the planks by plunging yourself into the water as such. Now, this is going to be the side of our house sticking out like that. What you want to do is just build off of that and not forgetting where you are, just build one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Just like that, you have a lot of deck spaces is where the deck is going to be. So once you're over here, you're just going to plunge back into the water and sort of hit right where you are. Just like that. Most of the building will be above the water, so that's great. So now what you're going to want to do is build sort of the extension part. So that's what we're going to do. One, two, three, just like that. Under the water again, and it's a little deeper over here, but it's looking good. Just like that. And we're going to do the same thing. We're going to make another gable. So that's going to be about the same length as that. So seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then under again as such. And back to the surface. Now this house would, would look much fun or funner if we did have more life. But it depends where you're building. I will not, I do not have that luxury. So yeah, here we're just going to finish up this extension by doing the same thing on the other side and going underwater again just like that now if you're kind of lazy and you don't want to you know make the stilt part of the house then you could just sort of follow this outside part but what's the fun in that so yeah we're just going to keep continuing on we're just going to sort of build off of this end so one two three four five just like that and this is the other side of the house so we made it to the other frame, just like that. And what you're going to want to do next is just fill in the rest of this. And when I say that, well, not fill in, but just copy what you did on this end over here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And 
plunge up as so and connect it just like this with your planks okay so you have your frame now now all we need to do is just build the house so we're just going to start off with the deck because why not the deck is probably one one of the quintessential parts of the build so what you want to do is get yourself a spruce slab whatever you really want but i think spruce really does make a good contrast to the base of this plank oak, oak plank sort of frame so we're just going to build out to it's about three so one two three four five six just a little bit out just like that you don't want to make it too far out but you're going to want to build the planks just so they're on top of the surface of the water just like that maybe a little harder to build in survival but you could pause any moment if you need time to i guess build any part of the dock so yeah here we have our dock made out of slabs right here and what we're going to do is we're going to take the surface well, actually i might do is sort of overlap it like that just so it looks kind of nicer and i'm just going to do the same thing we're going to break the corners of this and go right underneath add a little more structure and do the same thing and still make it pop a block out of the surface like that with the logs. Same thing over here. It's pretty close. And there we have our dock. Good for fishing. Really nice view as well. And the sunset's somewhere around here. It's over there. It's going to come up soon. Anyways, without dabbling into that, we're actually going to continue the house. So the first thing you actually want to do is just build the frame of it. So this is going to be a one-story house. So what you want to do is make it about, I guess, four to five blocks is high. But I think I'm making five. So one, two, three, four, five. And then just do the same thing on each one of these sort of stills. Okay, so now that your frames should look something like this, very, very easy. What we're actually going to do is we're going to fill in these walls with another type of wood. I'm going to go with birch. You could still continue with wood, but I just like birch. So we're going to fill in each one of these frames with birch. Okay, so if you haven't really caught up to me while I have zoomed that, you may want to sort of catch up and pause the video, but yeah, we just filled the frame. Now, one thing that I did notice is that this house is sort of lacking depth. So what you may want to do is take a wood stairs, preferably oak, and just brush the side of this entire house with some oak stairs as such just to get a little more depth going on upside down of course just all the way around the perimeter just to give it that sort of push and just end it just like that and look at that we're already getting off to a great start so yeah now that we're not really living in the times of ye old here so i really want to make this a little more modern so instead of adding tiny little windows we're going to add some more open windows so I guess we're going to start off with that and then move on to the roof. So, of course, the deck or the docks are going to be the area that you're probably going to spend a lot of time on. So this is where we're going to add most of the windows. So I'm going to add a window here. And then we're kind of just going to brush off. What I think I might do is I'm going to add three windows like that. Just like that. Actually... We're going to make it sort of like this, just like that. These are going to be open windows, and then I'm going to add a door here for the survival aspect, just like that. And then what we're going to do is add wood stairs, just like that. And there you have your sort of 
open-ended windows like that and your door but yeah it's looking pretty good here we're gonna add some more windows this is just gonna be pretty easy whoops just add some more holes as such just like that pretty easy stuff just to add a little more depth I'm gonna put some very simple sort of windows now you can use any stairs you want but I think adding oak stairs adds a pretty nice accent to the windows I'm gonna keep on with this and add some more windows this will go continue that on as well and you got yourself a pretty good sort of view here so on this end what I think I might do is I'm just gonna add like a huge window just like that one big window for viewing but I want to make this as open as possible now we're eventually gonna have to fill in the inside but I think we're gonna do that last as most of my videos usually do that now what I'm at, I might actually do over here is add a hypothetical kitchen so we're gonna take some cobblestone actually grab some nice cobblestone get some stairs and make sort of a small chimney around here I think would do whoops didn't make to make that didn't meant to make that hole there, but I'm just gonna go up just like that. If you do want to add a little more detail, you could add some stairs just like that. And you got yourself a pretty neat end over here. I'm just gonna add some more windows just like that. But most of this, you know, survival really deals with function more than looks. It's really up to you. So, what you can also do is add another dock back here, and I think I might do that, so we're going, to, we're going to go right about here. I'm going to use the midline of that extension to add just a small dock of about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven blocks. Three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, all the way there. It's just going to be about, yeah, seven or so blocks. Maybe one more block outwards like that and then take your oak do the same thing that you've been doing this entire build just build all the way up like that just so if you're boating you have multiple entrances usually a lot of houses have like two entrances is like that you can also go another block out if you want to just like that to make it more dock looking and then just add some wood like that you also add some torches or something like that but this would be like another main entrance, just like that, with more windows, more windows, there's going to be some lower cut windows, but yeah, pretty nice entrance, and then here, we'll just add another big window, why not, but as you can see, we went from having frames to having space to having windows, and on this end, could add another chimney because why not and then from the chimneys we could add just two windows here as such with some stairs and then the chimney would just go straight up just like that okay so once you know at this point you should have your two docks and your windows and we're ready to do the roof which is going to be the time consuming part but what you're going to want to do is take your oak wood plank or whatever your accent block was and just skim the entire top part of this with another layer another fresh coating of oak wood planks and this is going to be our base of our trim which we are going to have one of those but everything's looking pretty good so far okay so now what you're going to want to do is take Another wood could be anything, basically. I'm taking spruce because I would like to use another pair of wood. And what you want to do, actually, is take, yeah, take the stairs and just take every corner like that where there is, basically, where there is a log. You're really going to want to use a frame for this build because the frame, these frames are going to be very, very helpful. So, yeah, just add a stair like that. Now what you're going to do is take your spruce slabs and just follow that. Everything is easier when you have a frame because all you need to do is fill it in. Now what you're not going to want to do actually is just 
Don't fill this area in, don't fill that area in over here, and don't fill that area in. But you're going to want to do everything else in between as such. Okay. It's looking pretty good so far. Okay, looking good. Oh, forgot that corner over there. All right, so now what you're going to want to do is take your stairs, and we're going to make the frame First thing we're going to do is make the frame. Now, we're going to eventually have to finish that chimney as well. But that's something to worry about in just a minute. There we go. Just like this. All the way up to there. Don't want you don't you're not going to want to do that. What you're actually going to want to do is take your cobblestone. And build it all the way up. We're going to cap the chimneys off later. Um, but just make it through blocks above where they meet. If you don't like how these textures meet, you can always add something like that. Just to stop it from looking like weird or something like that. But it's all up to you. You know, At any point, you can just drop off and do whatever you want in this tutorial. But we're going to go the whole, whole nine yards. So you're going to want to make the gable frame over here as well. And then do the same thing for the other gap that we ended. Now, there's no chimney here, so just end it with the stairs. And then you could also do something like that to make it look cooler. Sun's going down soon, but it's all good. Same thing over here. As such. And as you can see, we got a pretty nice house going so far. So, it's looking A-OK. -okay. But yeah, I do apologize for the plethora of wood sort of type I have here. We got a lot of woods going on, and it's not easy building survival, but I'm just going to make it daytime so we have no problems. Look at that sunrise. It's a pretty nice sunrise. All right, now the tedious part. I'm just going to build that chimney up like that. We need to fill all of this up, so I'm definitely going to speed this up, but... What you're going to want to do, I'm just going to start us off. You can use wood, and I think I'm just going to use oak wood. You can also use the same spruce wood. You know what, just to keep it simple, I'm going to use the same spruce wood. But what you're going to want to do is just fill everything up and make it all connect. Should be pretty easy, but here we go. Okay, gang, we finally did it. That was one grueling process, but if you're here building it in survival, then, you know, I should really have no excuses. I'm doing this in creative. But, yeah, that's the stairs. That's basically how you do it. If you wanted to use any other different types of stairs, go ahead. But, yeah, we basically got the frame of the house done. You know, if you want to go do your own thing, now's the time to do it. But, you know, we're going to finish this up. So what you're going to want to do is take some slabs. I'm going to take... Just the same slabs. I really would want to use a different one, but I want to make this look as simple as possible because when it comes to building easy survival houses, it's always about keeping it as basic as possible without losing too much building detail. But yeah, here we have the roof. It's all done. That's all you need to do. It's all good. We are on our way to making some cool stuff. Now, what I did want to add was actually this light sort of deal. So you're going to want to find where these sort of windows are meeting up here and just break some blocks. And you're going to want to go up to about here, two blocks, two blocks, just like that. And what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to take some glass blocks and make a skylight because I want to add a little more modern into this build. And what tells a house to be more modern than a skylight? So look at that. That's just that's just beautiful. We can actually make it go out a little more, just like that. Now, if you don't have glass blocks on you, 
which you know would be a bummer if you didn't because we're gonna, we're about to fill out all these windows. Then you can use um, another technique with fences, which I guess I could show you as well. I'm just gonna take a random fence, and you can just build up to about here, and then just use slabs, and then just continue it all the way there like that. And you actually have another layer, but I think I might actually do that because might actually look a little cooler that way without using glass blocks like that. Also adds more deck space. Prime real estate kind of deal. Okay. So what you're going to want to do is take, yeah, just some slabs, I guess. I was thinking you could actually use trap doors as well. But actually I might do that towards the end. Have it trim off. Sort of like that. Wait. Do the same thing, edge like that. This kind of looks a little better than um, the glass, but yeah, that looks cooler. Whatever floats your boat, or in this case, your house. So, yeah, looks good, looks good. Anyways, we're going to move on. I'm going to add skylights on this end, definitely. This is, a, this is a skylight part. This is definitely going to be some skylights. Okay. Just like that. Alright, so we got our modern looking sort of contemporary house. We still gotta fill out these gables. So we're gonna do that real quick with uh, some oak wood planks. Just like that. And here as well, we're gonna do the same thing. Whoops. Don't wanna damn. Did I just break the skylight? No, I should be fine. Okay. But let me tell you, once you get past the grueling parts like filling out the physical part of the house, you should be all right. So we're just gonna go this side. This side should be a little bit easier. Okay, all right. Looking good, looking good. Okay. So, here we have it. Basically, our structure, everything's in place. What I'm going to do is actually fill the floor in. Now, I'm going to be a cheater and just use world edit, but you're going to want to make this a floor, all right? I'm going to make it into oak because that's just a go-to. But here you go. Easy as done. I already spent enough time building, like, most of this house by hand. Kind of had to cheat, but yeah. Now what you're going to want to do, I guess the next rational step, is to fill the house with glass. And this house is a bit tall for survival standards, but it's all looking good. All right, this end as well. If you're talking scale and proportions, this is not really up to building scale. It's a little bigger scale than you know what you'd find in survival, but it's all good. It's a nicer looking house. You're gonna get a little more than what you built for, so that's good. What I might actually do is I might turn that into panes and just, yeah. Okay, that looks pretty good. All right. So over here, I'm going to add more panes. Now, I've mentioned this in another tutorial video, but if you don't have panes, then, you know, like up here, you could just use fences. It'll do the same thing, except over here. You might want to leave that open. But, of course, you got everything. I'm actually going to add a little more decoration, get myself a torch, put it on the ends over here, and do the same thing over here. Okay, all right. It's looking pretty good. What I might actually do is I might add this steel on the other side. So what I'm actually going to do is just bore a hole into the end. Now this is just extra stuff at this point, but why not add some extra detail? Because this might build their OCD just going off to tell them to do other stuff, but okay. So you got the same thing on the other side. Just add fence up here. What you could actually do is, eh, no, that doesn't look good. that doesn't look that good. We're just gonna keep it open. Leave it up to the builder to decide. Okay. Now I hope this video isn't too long, but if you want to get a pretty kicking, bumping-looking house over here, then. Might have to spend some time to do it. Okay, that looks pretty good. Alright, the sun is going down again. 
There we go. All right, can I add windows here? No, I can't add windows here. We're gonna add some windows over here though. We're just gonna add a simple window, nothing too fancy. Just gonna be like one block. And if you wanna add more detail, just put some fences like that. Okay, all right, I'm gonna slow down a little bit because I know that if you are building this in survival, I am going at like hyper speed. Okay, that's looking pretty good. Everything's looking pretty good. We gotta add some doors in though. So we gotta add some doors. Um, I'm gonna go with the regular oak because that's what I feel comfortable with. And that is pretty much the entire structure of the house. All right, so last phase we need to do is, we, first of all, we need to find a way to get up here. This is definitely a loft area. Second of all, we need to finish these extra details that I left off. We're just gonna go two blocks higher. We're going to place this chimney like this is this is like my signature chimney. If you see any of my other builds, they're basically just like this. Now I would add a collagen, but we are kind of on a budget. So what we're just gonna do is get um my handy dandy cobblestone walls and just put them like that and get a slab, put it like that, and you have yourself a nice chimney design. Look at that. Look look at this right here. This is this is prime real estate right here. Just on the ocean like that. I'm going to get myself a boat. And, oh, I didn't know they had different types of boats. I am so behind when it comes. I'm one of those people that, like, I have never explored any of the new stuff in Minecraft. And I have no idea what's going on. I have to do that eventually. But, yeah, I usually build on 1.12. That's, that's what the server I've been building on has been doing for a while. So, anyways, without enough talking, we have to make this loft. So, what we're going to do is we're just going to get oakwood planks. And just build like so, just like that, until we have ourselves more living space. Look at that. All right. Who knew that we would have so much living space? Okay. Now what you're going to want to do is finish this loft off just by adding a simple, simple thing like that. And get yourself, get yourself a ladder while you're at it. And just go up like that, right here. And if you really want to be fancy, add yourself a wooden trap door. And you got yourself a really nice view. If you want to even go further, add some fences. Just to make it a little more secure. You got, you got yourself like a nice like vantage point if you want to like snipe anything. But, you know, we are in the ocean, but so, you know. Anyways, I'm going to add some more fences like that. I'm going to go down here. And the rest is basically up to your imagination. I mean, I'm not going to fit this out with interior because I'm going to leave that open to your interpretation. But that is the entire house, as you can see. Now, one thing I really have to apologize for is I might be really fast when it comes to putting in details. So I do apologize for that, but... If you, if you do feel like I'm going too fast, then be sure to comment and tell me about that immediately, because I do need to fix that. But, you know, if you just can't keep up, then just pause, I guess. But, yeah, that's basically your good old survival house. Well, guys, there you have it. I hope you guys enjoyed this simple tutorial, pretty long tutorial of the survival boathouse. Hope you guys enjoyed your new boathouse if you did build it. But if you did enjoy this video and this tutorial, be sure to check out my other tutorials and my other videos. Got some pretty cool stuff coming up. But if you like all this cool stuff, then be sure to stay tuned and subscribe. Other than that, hope you guys have a wonderful time, and I'll see you in the next one.